So I bet you're asking yourself, uh, wait a minute, I got sand traps. What do I do about those? Well, th this is this is kind of on purpose. I don't I don't have any a lot of sand traps on this course. I'm probably going to add a few because I think it could use some in real life. This is the great thing about making courses. You can do whatever you want. But I don't have any on the first two holes, but I'm going to show you how to do them. The reason I kind of held it for this point is I'm going to show you some good examples here of manipulating the shape so you can see stuff. If you need to go back and make changes or alter things, um, this is going to be a good lesson in, in, in addition to making the bunkers themselves. So here we are. You know, We've got our, our hole 98, our hole 99. We've got two holes that are so, you know, somewhat done here. Let's, first of all, let's just do a save to make sure that I don't lose anything here. And man, with that deep rough, that whole 99 on here, it's really hard to see that satellite layer. So let me just hide that. And then in addition, you know, I don't have any bunkers on here, but let's say that I did, and they're right around both of these greens. Let's actually, let's say that there's one here, like a fairway bunker here. Let's say there's a bunker here by this green, and let's say there's a bunker here over by this green. Well, I can't see them here, so that's going to be tough. So let me um, let me highlight this rough here, and I can hide that. I can highlight this rough. I can hide that. Eh, I'm probably going to need to hide some of this other stuff too. Um, you know, maybe I'm just better off hiding this whole layer. And yeah, let's just let me hide. Let me just hide everything. So I got everything hidden now and I'm making up some bunker stuff here. So let me just zoom in here and let's just say that there was a bunker um, here. All right. So first of all, let me make sure I'm on hole one. All right. Pen draw tool. So my Bezier tool here doing a B spline. And let me just let me do a kidney shaped bunker, you know, the classic kidney. So what's going on here? Why can't I draw my bunker? Oh, my hole is hidden, okay? If I have this hole hidden, guess what? I can't draw on it. Now you can see if I come over here, I can start to draw again, all right? So make sure you understand that when something's hidden, you can't draw on it, but that makes it really difficult to see what I'm doing. So this is why I tend, normally I'd have you draw your T's, your greens and your bunkers before you do this other stuff so you don't run into the situation. But this is a good example of how we can get around this. So if I use my select tool here and I can select this layer, let me select this other layer. Let me go to the fill tab and you can see if I come down, Ah, I can make this a little op lower the opacity. And now I would be able to see that bunker <laughs> if it existed, right? So let me go back to my pen tool, um, go back into my layers, make sure I'm in hole one, and let me draw a kidney shape here. And again, I'm being very deliberate. Click, stop, stop, click, stop, click, stop, stop, stop and stop so now i have this pretty cool kidney shape here uh what do i need to do oh yes i need to change it to sand a bunker and you can see that the opacity though is set down so key thing here if you lower this opacity okay make sure you go back and you turn it back on if not you will get color errors inside of blender so let me do a shift here i got both of these selected and if you're never sure, you can always go back here and select all your shapes using shift. You can come back here and you can raise them all up back up to 100%. Okay, so now I got a bunker there. Um, for the sake of time, I'm gonna, you can get the idea if I would have added a bunker here. Let's just, I'll, I'll give you an idea. Let's do one more bunker. So let's go to hole two. Let's turn hole two back on because I can't draw on it if I don't. Highlight hole two because this is where I'm putting the bunker inside of hole two. Pen tool. And do I want to, I'm just going to lower the opacity of, make it easier, I'm going to lower the opacity of the entire hole. So everything on hole two. Um, so I still have my pen tool. Let's do one kind of over here. Uh, yeah, so let's draw one that kind of runs the shape of the outside of this green. 
And bunkers are really one of, they cause some of the bigger issues because of the curves and shapes you want to make sure they are smooth. And that issue of dragging and double nodes when you're doing a lot of bunker comes way too easy to, to mess up. So again, make sure you're being deliberate. And now I can just raise that opacity back up. Oh, I'm only doing it on the bunker. So I have to come back in here to my layers. Let me go to hole two, back in here into the fill area and raise that opacity all the way back up again. Okay, so now I've got a couple of bunkers. and just to sanity check here, let's go back on. Let's do uh, oh, hole 98 still on, so we're gonna leave that on. Hole 99, and we see our bunkers, and voila, we've got bunkers.